Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Chico SAT review series. We are still in the units, angle, triangle, and the trig functions. And this is the video number three. And uh, we're going to focus to understand the true special right triangle. So we're going to work on the 30, 60, 90, and the 45, 45, 90 degrees right triangles here. Okay, so, so far we did a uh, this is our video number one, and uh, we did a video number two. So now we're going to focus on the video number three so here. We're going to work on the special right triangles here. Okay, so before we do that, let's uh, go back to the whiteboard and let's do a little bit of review what we know about the lowest type of the right triangles here. Okay, so I'm going back to the whiteboard. Okay, here we are. Okay, so we're going to, today for the, this video, we're going to focus on the true special right triangle. So this is, we have like the 30, 60, 90, and the 45, 45, 90 degrees triangles here, okay? So the first things here, let's, uh, uh, let me try to draw it. Okay, so here. So here, okay, so this one's here, this is the, okay, so we need to do that a little bit, okay. So this is the 30, 60, 90. So if this one's 90 degrees, if we let this angle is equal to the 30 degrees. So let me use the colors here. So this is the gold color, I put it like the 30 degrees, so it's these angles. And then for these angles here, I put this, uh, okay, so this green angles here, let's put this is like the 60 degrees here. One of the problem most, you know, like in the SAT exams, one of the most common problem is want you to find the, the given lengths here, right? Okay, so now let me put the yeah, color coding that, so right triangle I used the red okay so they do have a ratio so the 30 60 and the 90 so the largest side is the side face the hypotenuse right so we typically put like this so if the largest side is one okay then the ratio for the 30 degrees will be one half of the the side, the hypotenuse, and then the, you know, the side face, the 60 degrees, it will be square root of the three over two so here, okay? So the way the 30, 60, 90, so the ratio basically is one half to the square root of the three over two and uh, to the one so here. So based on this ratio so here, so if the problem changes here, right? So if the problem say, for example, so here, so if the problem say, okay, if the hypotenuse, let's start here, if the hypotenuse is equal to three, now what is the side facing the 30 degrees and the 60 degrees, okay? So based on these ratios here, so the way you do here, so you say it's one half, this is the ratio, right? So this is 30, 60, and 90. So now the hypotenuse is three. So what's that mean? That means you multiply by what? You multiply by three, right? Everything you multiply by three, so hypotenuse is three, so this is three. So you multiply by three, so what is the, side face the 60 degrees angle is three square root of the three, right? Now what is the side for the 30 degrees angle is three half, right? Okay, so that's how do you, you know, let's, so this is the, the side face the 30 degrees. So this is a side face 60 degrees and this is a side face 90 degrees. So as long as you remember this ratio, so the problem can change. So how about, let's take a look. So if they say, 
for example, here, if the side face uh, 30 degrees angle is equal to, let's say, four, or let's say two, all right? So that make it a bit easier. So if this is a two, right? So what is the hypotenuse? And what is the side of face, you know, six degrees, right? Okay, so what is the side of face? Uh, I mean, not to skip any word, so the face is 60 degrees. So you still, you always write it out, uh, your ratios here, right? Okay, so here, then because they say the side of face is 30 degrees is two, all right? So it's a two, that means here you want to become two, right? So in here, in order, so they say, okay, how about this side is a two? So how did you get the twos here? So you need to do what? You need to multiply by what? Multiply by fours, right? So four times one half is a two. So the same thing is here, you need to multiply by four. So if this is a four, you multiply four times the square root of three. So what is this one here? will give you two square roots of the three. And the what is here? So this is a given four, right? So the hypotenuse is a four, and the side of face is 60 degrees is two times square root of three, and, right? So when the face the 30 degrees is a two. So that's why I say, remember here, this is one very, very important ratios, right? So the, then you can change. So the problem, that's basically all the problems are going to be, they give you a side one to the other ones. And so if you remember these ratios here. Okay, so now let's take a look at another ones here. This is the one, so here, okay, so this one's here. Okay, so for this one here, then the same way see here, I have this one. This is what? This is my right angles here is 90 degrees, right? And now in here, instead of the 30, I have a 45. Because the whole thing is added to 180. So if this is a 45, so this is a 45, right? So let's miss these two angles. Uh, this is a 45 degrees angle. And this one has to be 45 degrees angles, right? Because it's isosceles. Okay, so if this is isosceles, now what is the ratio? So the ratios here, I still assume the hypotenuse is one. All right, so if a hypotenuse is one, then the ratios here, you can, so the ratios here, this is one over square root of the two, and the, so the ratios here is one over square root of the two, or some people, you want to simplify that, you want to get rid of the square roots on the bottom, so this will be equal to the square roots of the two over two here. All right, so the same way, so you can write down these ratios here. You can say this is the square root of the two over two compared to the square root of the two over two and the two ones, right? So this will be the ratio for the 45 degrees. So the same way is here. So like the example they can give here is like say, hey, if the, so the, if the hypotenuse, equal to, let's give a little bit of complicated one. Hey, if a hypotenuse is equal to the square root of the three, then what is the side, right? So what is the side, right? So here, the way we do that is uh, just like I say, write out your ratio, right? So write out your ratios here. Now the hypotenuse is going to be square root of the three. So that means here, I want to be square root of the three. So how do I change from here to here to be a square root of the three? I need to multiply the square root of the threes, right? So if you multiply the square root of the three, then the only number going to be multiply the square root of the three. So square root of three times square root of two is the square root of the six. Right, so the side here, it will be, so what is the answer for here? So the side here will be what? The square root of the six over two, right? So this is what we did for the special 
two special right triangles. So be very careful. And uh, you know, like I said, try to remember the. So you need to know the for the 30, 60, 90, the ratio is one half square root of three over two and one. So if it's a 45, 45, one, so it will be square root of two over two over square root of two over two and then over one so here. Or if you want, you can change the square root of two over two is one over square root of two. So either way. So or you can write this one's ratio is one over square root of the two one over square root of the two and over one so here, right? So either way, you know, whatever you prefer. So those are the two things that's very important, right? Okay, so don't forget, and the those ratios here. Okay, so now let's take a look, right? So remember that, right? So let's take a look at the problems here, all right? Okay, so the first problem is here, okay? So let's say AD, Oh, here you make this is the given conditions, right? Okay, so let's say AD parallel to BC, and the CD is equal to one half of the AB. Okay, find the angle B here. Okay, so in here I know the BC is parallel to AD here. So now, you know, this is the right triangles, right? So if I find the one. And I find that this line is a perpendicular. The green one is here, right? So if I find the green one is perpendicular to the CD is here, because this one is right angle, because this is a given, right? So this is a given. This right angle is a given here. So if this is a given, so that means, uh, so if I say A, B, C, D, so in here I give a, Names here, I say this is the E here. So I know if I look at it, so I know the CD is equal to BE, right? Because they are parallel and they have the same angle. So these two are the same. And uh, since CD is equal to half of the AB, right? So this is a given, right? So CD is equal to half of the AB. So that's why I know what I know the BE, BE is equal to what? Half of the AB is here, right? So AB is here. So take a look at the AB. So what is AB? AB is the hypotenuse here, right? So let me the BE is equal to half of the hypotenuse. So you say, oh, half of the hypotenuse, go back to our reviews here. So if the hypotenuse is one, half of the hypotenuse, what's that mean? That means the angle face that has to be 30 degrees, correct? So now I know the half of the hypotenuse, that means the angle face it has to be 30 degrees. So I know here, this one's here is what? This one has to be 30 degrees, right? And uh, this one is 30 degrees, uh, and then here, this is right angles, right? So here, this is 90. If this is 90, then what is this angle here going to be? This is going to be what? 60 degrees, right? So now the problem want to ask to find the angle B. So angle B is, uh, let me use a different color. Okay, angle B is here, right? Angle B is here. So angle B, right? So the angle, angle B is equal to the measurements of the angle B is equal to measurements uh, of the angle ABE. And because this is 90, they are parallel, so it's a plus uh, 90 degrees, right? So I just know ABE, ABE is my golden angle, so this is 60 and the plus 90. So what is the angle B is here is 150s, right? So be careful, right? So the angle B is here. So this one's here, the ABE is 30, 60 degrees, right? So if the, this angle is 30, right? So the 
the gut light, right? So this is a half of the hypotenuse is here. And then based on the 30, 60, 90, so I know angle A is equal to what? It's 60 degree. If angle A is equal to 60 degree, that's why my golden angle is 60, angle A is 30 degrees, and then my golden angle is 60 degrees, right? Okay, very good. Okay, now let's take a look. I want to find the length of ABs here. Okay, so here, this is given, right? So I given this is a right triangles here. So this is right angle. So this is 90. If this is 90, so based on the 30, 90 degrees, so what happened to this angles here? This angle is will be what? So it has to be 60s, right? If this angle is 60, then I know my angle B is here is equal to what? Is equal to 60 also, correct? If angle B is equal to because it's 30, 30, right? If angle B equal to, so it's a 60. So what is angle A is here? Right, the angle A is here. Look here, here's 90, so here is 90. So angle A is uh, how many degrees here? So angle A is 60 here, right? So this is a 60 degrees, right? So this is a 30, 60, and the 90, right? And because this is a 60 and here is a 60, so it's an isosceles triangle. So if it's isosceles triangle, so what is my AB is here going to be? AB is 8, 12, because it's isosceles, right? It's because the angle A equal to angle C and equal to 60 degrees. So I know the AB is going to equal to the BC. So that's why the AB is equal to 12 here. Do you get that? Okay, so if AB is 12, then we know this is 30, 60, and the 90s, right? So let's take a look of what will be my, so we know the ratio is one half, remember what we did a while ago, square root of the three over two and the ones, right? Now the hypotenuse is 12, so here, look here, the hypotenuse is 12. So how do I get a 12 here? Ah, I need to do what? I need to, multiply the 12, right? So when you multiply the 12, so this, so the whole these things, you multiply the 12. So 12 by the one half is six. So 12, the square root of three over two is six square root of the two, then verse 12, right? So the six, this is a face the 30 degrees angle. So that's why my AD is equal to six, right? My AD is equal to six. So the problem they can change, they can ask you for BD. So if they ask you for BD, so what is the BDs here? Is the square six of the square root of the three, so here. Okay, so these two problems are applying the special angles here, right? So let's go back here. So don't forget those are two very, very uh, important special right triangles, 30, 60, 90. Remember the ratio is a half square root of three and one. Then 45, 45, and the 90s, right? So the ratio is one over square root of two, one over square root of two, and one. Or, you know, you want to um, get rid of the square root of two in the denominator, it can be square root of two over two, square root of two over two, and the one is the ratio. So remember those ratios, and you should be able to solve those similarity problems with the right triangle and find the length of the special sides here. Okay, and uh, let's see it for this video. It's a very short video, and I hope you enjoy the video. And uh, if you like the video, don't feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you still confused with some concept, leave me a comments, and I will try to answer your questions here. Okay, so very nice to talk to you, and uh, so the, looking forward to see uh, to talk to you in our next video and we're going to finish this unit. So in the next video, we're going to do a very uh, simple um, trick functions, okay? Okay, it's nice to talk to you and have a good day. And I hope that we, you know, will, you know watch the, our next videos here, okay? Bye, have a good day, bye.